Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because they can, and they continue with Blade Runner Blind. Now, I have gathered some clues. Uh, I have the model and the serial number, uh, well, like the license plate number of the car that the perpetrators in the animal murder used. And I also have a, a, a menu from a takeout restaurant in Chinatown. So I think I'll go there. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. Are you taking any drugs? I need to ask you... <laughs> I, I, I like this, how there's a stream of people. Uh, no, 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 I didn't want to go to my car. Uh, there, there's a stream of people walking by, and I can attempt to question them, and they all just ignore me. McCoy, LPD. <laughs> they don't even break their stride. McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Got to mix more out back. McCoy, LPD. You're a pretty smart-looking cat. You wanna make some money? Pay me large, you got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a book. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Excuse me, pal. <laughs> Excuse me, pal. Oh, doesn't seem to particularly care about what I want or need. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business driving, night always beautiful. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up, no one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Prince, Howie. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just month. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chopped it come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. This from your place, isn't it? Yes, sir. You do Howie favor? Distribute all through our police station? See you later, Howie. Mm, okay, I didn't learn much. McCoy, LPD. Excuse me, pal. I do. I can go behind the counter. Um, no, I can go into the kitchen to talk with the cook. And I guess, because one of the witnesses at the crime scene, uh, transitors, uh, said that he saw Lucy uh, talking with like a like a big guy. That might have been him. He has been working here for a month, and she has been working at transitors for a month. Nothing else to interact with here, seemingly. Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here! Air bad! This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl, about 14 years old with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her! 
stick around. I might want to talk to you later. Hmm. I can test him for being a replicant. Uh, which I would like to do mainly because I still don't quite know how that uh, how, how that works. And it seems like an important thing for a Blade Runner to know how to do. Uh, although what I'm worried about is, you know, because to be honest, I don't really even agree with the, the official policy regarding uh, regarding uh, replicants. I do agree with the guy that we have locked up at the police station, who says that they are basically people. If you can't distinguish them without very specialized equipment, then that's a good reason to consider them people. Uh, but I will test him just to learn more about how it works. There's a test I'd like you to take. It won't take too long. Test? What kind of test? Kind of a personality test. Totally routine. Routine? Ah. Hmm. So, so, so I take it he is a replicant, most likely, if he's running away from me. I don't... To be honest, I don't really want to kill him. If anything, I, I sympathize with him. Because if he is a replicant, then he knows. He, his very existence is illegal. He knows I'm going to try to kill him. That's a horrifying thought to live with. That... You know, the, the state has deemed your very existence to be a crime. Uh, so I don't particularly want to kill him, although I will try to run after him, just because more clues uh, might be discovered if I do. I'm pretty sure he ran this way. Okay, so this, this just goes back to uh, the diner. See you later, Howie. A big guy run past here? Hey, maybe spare some chicken? Uh, sure. I, I take it that's the money. They mentioned the name a couple of times. Thanks. The big man, he kind of limping that away. Hey, Pop. Hmm, limping, you say? That's interesting because uh, from the analysis of the footprints at Ramsiters, it was said that one of them limped as well. Okay, I have. See you later, Howie. No idea where he was supposed to take me. Does this badge mean anything to you? <laughs> I find it hilarious how everyone just ignores me. Well, I guess I lost to the guy, which, as I said, I don't feel that bad about because I wouldn't like to kill him. Oh, is, is that the license plate? From... Yeah, this is the license plate from the car. They, they, they threw it out? Okay, that's, that's an important piece of evidence because it means they were here. 
Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Totally uninteresting. Totally uninteresting. Totally uninteresting. Yuck. Yuck. Mm. Totally uninteresting. Okay, didn't want to do that. Locked. 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 Mm. Okay, it must be missing something then. Locked. Okay, I can't, can't like shoot the lock or anything. Yuck. Totally uninteresting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit lost about what to do now. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. I guess I haven't been in my apartment. Maybe I can meet someone there that would help me. McCoy, LPD. See you later, Howie. Mm. Okay, I'll go back to the police station. Laboratory. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. Mainframe and shooting range. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. 
The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Mm, nothing new here. Ground floor. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. Well, get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Mm. Locker. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. Okay, I'll go back to the, to my apartment just because it's the only place I haven't been at. Well, that person is literally trying to kill me, so I feel... And, and I do think that's the guy f from the kitchen. Okay, the game seems Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. I checked with you and air. Looks your rep swung that moon bus massacre last month. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha.
Uh, to be honest, I find what he said confusing. Because I didn't kill this guy because he was a replicant, I killed him because he was trying to kill me with a meat cleaver. So, uh, you know, he said, if you ever retire a human, your career is over. But it seems irrelevant in this particular case because that was self-defense. Yuck. Yuck. You can't search him or anything. Yuck. Your floor number, please. Apartments. Ground floor. Roof. Apartments. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two yeah. now and full yeah. of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Hmm, so is that an organic dog? I guess it has to be if she, if he said he wants to get her a partner. I, I don't think they would have programmed, you know, a reproductive function into the replicant, although maybe would maybe they would. Who knows? Good doggy. <coughs> Who's the best dog in the whole world? <coughs> Good doggy. <coughs> Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Okay, so I have a photo analyzer at home as well, which is good to know. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. Yeah, because they are, they are people, essentially. Like, I, I wonder if it's possible for the protagonist to come to that conclusion by the end of the game. Because uh, to me, it's such a no-brainer, you know, if somebody looks like a human, acts like a human, uh, you know, behaves like a human, if you can't distinguish him for, for, from a human, apart from some very specific advanced uh, technology, why not just assume he's a person? Uh, you know, if he's capable of forming his own opinions, if he's capable of being afraid for his life, if he's capable of pleading for mercy, uh, why not assume uh, he's just, uh, you know, it's just a mechanical uh, version of a person? It seems to me it's always better in such cases to err on the side of caution rather than risk the possibility that you're slaughtering people. Although, I guess the problem here is that if you agreed that replicants, you know, those sufficiently advanced uh, late model replicants are basically human, uh, you would have to come to gripes with the fact that we've created them to be slaves. Uh, it, it's, it's like a version of slavery that's even worse than the regular slavery because with regular slavery, you those are people that are just like you, and you've taken them as slaves, and you've uh, sort of reduced their their status to being a slave. But with replicants and with like true AI, uh, 
you create them in the first place. The, their very existence is um, built upon the foundation of you wanting to use them as slaves. That, that's a pretty, pretty difficult thing to sort of reconcile in your mind. Especially if you want to consider yourself mm, a good person, which you know most people do. Portrait of the sleep deprived. Hmm. Got your delivery here, man. What? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes, right. Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh, no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real comfy. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Oh! <laughs> Please, can you control your rat? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua, and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good if it holds deep meaning for me now. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts, the works. Only civic leader. Extra terrestrial gravity. <laughs> One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes? They be hosing you off the true life building across town. No, I swear. I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. You one miserable package, man. No! No, please, don't! Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry, I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break in it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the run center deal or not. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Okay. I didn't entirely want to go to bed, because I, I think I might have skipped some things, uh, sort of inadvertently. But there's no taking it back now. No messages. I'm in demand. happening on the street seemingly is that the police station already it's a 
station, but I don't know what it says here. Yes, it is the police station. Okay, I will go investigate the uh, Tyrell building. Oh, right. My car is. Mm, okay, uh, that makes absolute. Uh, that, that makes absolute sense. Locked I just. Mainframe and shooting range. I'm just dumb. Because it, it's back at my home. Tyrell building, okay. Yeah, let's go there. McCoy, LPD. Uh, just a minute. Where do I go? Grav test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendoller ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll do the investigation next time, because this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save and end it for now. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!